So hi guys. So today I will discuss about how to install SAP GUI. So especially while we are learning SAP S4 HANA, so we need to install our SAP GUI. So before we are taking the access from our access provider. So this video is helpful to uh, whoever wants to install SAP GUI. So this video is very helpful to you. So today I will show you completely how we are installing the SAP GUI into our laptop. So here, so first of all, I will go to one link and even this downloading link I will share. I will attach in this video description. So if you go to this video description, just you can click here. <clears throat> so later you need to select a download. And again, you need to select download anyway. So once you click download anyway, so it is started the downloading. But right now I am passing. Why? Because just now I downloaded also because of the video length and all. So then I will go to my download. So once you downloaded, you get this file. So in this file, you need to open. First of all, click on open and select this file and select this folder first one and again you need to select GUI and again you need to click on Windows click on Windows 32 so now you can see so there is multiple folders and there is multiple options here so in this one you need to go to last one setup all so here you need to right click and uh, click on open so once you click on open you will get this uh, extract file pop up box just you need to click on extract all so it is asking where this file needs to extract it then i will go to browser so i am selecting my desktop it means i say i need to extract this file into my desktop and click on select folder and click on extract so now the file is extracted from my system. OK, so usually it will take some time like two minutes, three minutes or five minutes. It depends upon your uh, system speed and as well as your RAM and uh, your SD card. So these are all parameters, even your processor also. So i3, i7. So depends upon processor and depends upon your RAM and these things it will take some time. So before we are going, I think it is less than one minute only. So up to now, so if you want to learn any new things regarding to the SAP, especially in the real time project overview, like how the testing projects is there in the real time system and the system landscape, the complete topics especially once we got the job in SAP. So actually our main problem begins from this concept, the system landscape. Why? Because the system landscape is vary from client to client and vary from project to project. So at the time we need to understand uh, our client is followed which landscape and how we are moving our changes, especially with the help of transport request. So how we will move our changes from development to quality and production. So regarding that one. So here I added uh, five videos and even in five video I showed the complete TR moments also. And not only this videos if you come to my channel like regarding APP with IDOC or APP with DME. So if you want to do certification. So so many content is there in my channel. So if you want to check once my channel you will get more information ok and even while we watch any video so if you have any doubts or concerns or any different opinions so you can just put a comment and I will try to give the reply ok why because here I will be adding most of the important topics only especially the latest change between to ECC to SAP S4 HANA so the major change we can say the business partner introduction. So in earlier ECC also we have business partner, but that BP we used only FSCM, CRM and SCM module, but 
where it comes to sap s4 ana business partner we need to maintain centrally and within that business partner we need to create customer master and vendor master also regarding that one the theoretical explanation and as well as the complete configuration so how we will be maintain the business partner configuration and all so i up, i maintained that video also in upcoming days so we will try to upload more videos and if you have any specific requirement regarding to the real time projects or regarding to the uh, work environment or do you need the finance training or do you need the sd training above training and apart from that do you need the real time project training or do you need any job support once you get the job support uh, just you can uh, contact me and we will try to help you so now my file is extracted here so if i go to home yeah so tick 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 where is my file extracted file oh sorry so we extracted in the desktop right so then i will go to the desktop and now you can see this is the extraction file so then i will click on open and again i will go to one more time press one and again i need to go with gui so click on windows click on windows 32 and now you can see again we have some folders and again we have setup files also so now you can double click here so once you double click on that uh, like the system is asking whether this app is allowed to change your device like some changes is allowed to change so then you don't worry just click on yes so now you can see the sap installation is started sap gui and we can get it those information from this pop up box sir ikkada sir ikkada picture ichi aagipoyindi sir okay so one minute i will reshare my screen so now my screen is visible yes sir visible sir so now i will be going into click on next so here i will be selecting select all and click on next and again click on next again click on next so now the installation is started okay so earlier the file is extracted now the sap gui is ready to install again the speed the installation time and all it will depends upon your system okay your system ram rom and the data storage and the processor so if it is i7 and uh, more than i7 versions it is quickly installed and where it comes to below i7 editions maybe it will take 2 to 3 minutes or 5 minutes okay so you need to wait patience and then we can see the result so so we completed 60% yeah so even regarding enhancement also we did the complete uh, videos uh, regarding the enhancement project end to end so i did uh, nearly 10 videos so if you want to learn in depth regarding the enhancement project just you can come to my channel and you can see the playlist of enhancement videos so now uh, my installation is done then click on close okay so now you can see my sap logon pad is in my desktop then i will be putting this one into my taskbar 
so just i am selecting pin to taskbar so then i will open this sap logon pad okay so once you open this logon pad okay so usually we are getting uh, this options so this one i will be try to remove this one this is the server what i added earlier so now i will show you if you go to click on new okay we need to click on new so then the next pop up box will be appeared here otherwise uh, before this one maybe sometimes some systems i observed uh, one pop up box is appeared so that box if you click next then the second pop up box will be this one okay so here i need to maintain my server details so these details will be provided by your service uh, access provider server access provider okay so you need to mention the description and as well as the application server okay so again we need to maintain the instance number and the system id so these four details we need to enter mandatory and again if you want the server access regarding to the sap s4 hana so you can contact me also then click on next so here nothing so just click on next so yes click on finish okay now you can see my server is added so if you open this server so again you need to maintain your user id and password again the user id and password provided by your server access provider just you can enter this user id and password and now you can see the sap easy access screen will be appeared this one okay so again if you want to go the spro path the implementation guide screen so now you can see this is the implementation guide screen and this is the sap s4 hana system now you can see this is the hana 2022 on premise edition okay so we know the consultants is working in this screen and you can see the latest features conversion of accounting in sap s4 hana s4 hana for group reporting so we can see these are all features in hana but when it comes to ecc we don't have these features but when it comes to sap ecc or when it comes to sap s4 hana so the installation of gui is common and whatever the gui we installed so same gui we are using for sap ec ecc online access and as well as s4 hana online access also and this screen usually we are using for the end users to make the entries and all but uh, uh, recent times i observed some of the members is commented like uh, we are not uh, in my s4 hana server the fiori is not worked properly so there is a one problem with this uh, server at that time you need to do some settings let's say for example if i go to f512 transaction okay so if i selecting my house bank and if i go to bank accounts if you click create bank account so now you can observe sorry i am getting some abop runtime error okay so i will try to show you if i go to click on create bank interest sorry i am getting runtime error but usually so once you click this one the server automatically opens your fiori app if it is not worked properly then you need to go to options here you need to click on options now you can see interaction design in control settings you need to change your instead of internet explorer you need to put as edge based on chromium so you need to select this one and apply definitely your fiori app is also worked properly only so i will show you one more time 
why I am getting so if I go to so again I am getting some runtime error but sir, usually sir, sir, internet explorer on sir it's based on marla sir in the game margin job so then I will go to options so now you can see this is internet explorer only right so if you put the internet explorer I will click on apply so then if I open the fiori so this URL determination is failed some a uh, runtime error I am getting but usually this error we cannot expect ui2 underscore flp so this is the fiori app open but uh, I am getting some URL determination failed error but usually we are not expecting this error okay so just you need to put as edge and you need to maintain this one so likewise we will be installing the SAP GUI in our uh, system okay so regarding this one like if you have any doubts or concerns you can uh, put some comment in this video and I will try to upload this video in our YouTube channel and the link whatever the link I showed you this link also I am adding in this video description okay so that's it from my end guys so thank you thank you for watching this video